Driving the bobcat across the field and into the woods, the beauty of the sun rising over the trees makes me forget that it's only 12 degrees out today. Jim drove his truck down into the woods, so he's pretty far ahead of me right now. In the winter, the forest has a completely different look. We stop and try to find the trees that we had noticed in the summer, but a totally different landscape makes it very difficult. Here's a tree you might remember from my last A Day in the Woods video. Over here looks like a pretty big tree. It's a big cherry, but as I walk around to the other side of it, you can see that it's heavily damaged. We find a spot with a few trees that can be taken, and I start cutting. We decided to remove this cherry tree because it had extensive butt rot, which is when the base of the tree rots and becomes hollow. Eventually this tree would fall over. Since we are selective about removing trees, it's pretty common for the tree to get hung up on its way down. In this case, this cherry tree got hung up in the canopy of a large white oak tree. With the bobcat, Jim is able to pop the tree off its stump and wrangle the tree around until it comes loose and falls down. Jim was feeling a little advantageous this morning and had me chain six logs to the bobcat to be dragged out. This is a little bit too much for this machine, so I switched to just three logs. The log going by the camera is the one that was hung up in that tree. You can see as the log goes by the rot in the base. After we got these logs dragged out of the clearing, Jim and I switched places so we could warm up. In the winter, the person running the saw is nice and toasty, and the person in the bobcat gets to freeze. Jim found this uprooted cherry tree that we had missed in the summer because it was hidden by the deadfall and brush. Jim cut the tree off at about 20 feet, and I pulled the log back to the trail. Next we were working on trying to get the upper section of the tree, but it was pretty well entangled. After a little bit of work, Jim and I were able to get it free, and I was able to pull it out. And it's a little field dressing there, and it's ready to go. Not too far away, Jim found another uprooted cherry tree. As you can see, it can be difficult to snake the logs through the trees and back to the trail. Once a few logs are dragged back to the trail, I'll chain them up in pairs to the bobcat and drag them back to the clearing.
When I got back from dragging the logs out, Jim had found this uprooted box elder. This was a bit hard to pull with the bobcat because it was on a hill and there was a tree right by it that it would have to go around. Part of the way up the hill, I got a small log caught between the left tires and I got stuck. Jim came over and pulled the log out of the way and I was able to continue my effort trying to get this log back to the trail. In this shot, you can see the tree that I'm trying to get this log around. You can see firsthand here what it looks like when the bobcat tips forward. <laughs> I get this log dragged back to the clearing and set it next to the others. We did two batches this size today. With all the logs waiting in the clearing, we can move them up to the house. In the summer, we would use the log arch to lift up one end in order to make dragging easier. In the winter, it's a slightly different story. <laughs> because the ground is so slick, we can chain the logs directly to the truck and just drag them that way. This is a lot faster. We only had one incident where we lost one of the logs that we were dragging, but the rest went well. This was so much faster than using the arch. The last thing we do before we leave for the day is unload the kiln. We are unloading a batch of 8 quarter live edge white oak slabs and 5 quarter cherry into my truck. And it's kind of fun to watch my truck sink as it picks up more and more weight. <laughs> So thanks for watching as always, I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't seen it already, I went into more detail about our logging process in my video A Day in the Woods. If you have any questions or comments about anything I showed today, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And as always, happy woodworking.